Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Denise Yang, the Provost of Research Extension Graduate Program at University of Villa Velha. Nowadays, the university rankings have been highlighted in each media. But what exactly is the meaning of those rankings and importance to be mentioned in them? Now, Mr. Will Sanchez, Regional Director of Africa and Latin America of the TAT, Times Higher Education can help us to understand about university rankings. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez, for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me today. A great pleasure to be here. <clears throat> university of Villa Velha, a private university, was the first higher education institution of the state of Espírito Santo to be mentioned in the Times Higher Education Latin America since 2018, and we're still in the ranking. Over the years, the number of universities participating in the TATE has increased. Could you please explain us about the importance of TAT within the academy and what is the criteria for the higher education to take a part in the, in the ranking? Sure. Well, first I'm going to start uh, introducing Times Higher Education. Um, Times Higher Education started as a supplement of the London Times newspaper uh, in 1971. So it's a publication that has uh, over a 40 year history in higher education sector. And since 2004, we started publishing uh, the World University Rankings. Um, so we are one of the um, first uh, global rankers across the globe. And therefore, we have positioned ourselves as uh, the most prestigious uh, uh, rankings. Uh, the Times Higher Education is the most balanced uh, rankings out there. Uh, we try to measure five main areas of the university. Uh, teaching, the teaching environment, the research environment, the impact of your research or your citations, the international outlook of the university, which is uh, extremely relevant, and also the, the knowledge transfer or the linkage between the university and industry. So those are the five measurements uh, that we concentrate on in our ranking. And uh, that's why it is considered uh, the gold standard of rankings. So the global academia consider this ranking the most serious, the most prestigious one. And actually our alliances uh, demonstrate the, 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 the reputation that we have as a, as, a, as a company. We publish in the United States, we publish the US college rankings with the Wall Street Journal. Um, we are the only rankings uh, company to be present and to have a session at the World Economic Forum in Davos. <clears throat> So that speaks about, you know, the global uh, reputation of, 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 the, of the rankings company, uh, Times Higher Education. And uh, we have been able to position ourselves as the leader uh, in that sense. We are a very strict ranking because we do have a lot of requirements to be able to be ranked with us. But in that sense, it's also because we try to measure the really good universities in every part of the world. Um, and, you know, we have different um, uh, methodologies. Uh, we have different rankings uh, focusing on different things. For example, we recently published uh, a new ranking called the impact ranking, which I think we're going to talk a little bit later on, where it measures activities other than research, where universities are working towards the, um, the sustainable development goals established by the UN. Uh, we also have uh, the World University Ranking and the regional rankings like the Latin American Ranking, which have become very, very important for uh, Latin American universities. So I hope I, I get to share all of this information with you very clearly in this session. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. It's very uh, good to know exactly the, how comp comprehensive the Times Higher Education is and how uh, the Times Higher Education think about every section in the universities. If it's a kind of universe, not only research, not only uh, teaching, but all together, which is really make university our alma mater, producing knowledge and make a difference in the, for the society. Uh, the universities has that compromise. The university have that, that compromise to help with the society to build a better world. And in that exactly specific point, how would the research and the extension 
uh, impact in the times higher education, in the Latin time, times higher education, not only in the global impact, but in that one specific to rank university according those five uh, reputations that, that those five metrics that you just mentioned. Right. So, um, so for the world university rankings, we try to measure uh, universities that are uh, research intensive. Um, so this allows us to see the most research intensive universities across the globe, which ones are the best across the globe. For the Latin American ranking, because we understand the challenges in Latin American region when it, when it comes to uh, academic production or research production, we, ha we had to modify and rebalance our metrics for the region exactly to measure uh, the, the most important measurements in Latin America, for example. But the feedback that we got from academics was that there was a, a, a more important uh, put on, on teaching environment than more than research, for example. So the, we give it into the research, uh, to the teaching environment in Latin America rather than the research environment. We also know that uh, um, the research production is much less compared to other regions of the world. So therefore, we had to modify our citation impact um, uh, criteria where we reduce the percentage of the value there. Uh, but then we try to promote the research productivity because in the end, we believe that by creating um, quality research, um, this will have a positive impact in every region, in every nation, because um, to solve uh, you know, the world's uh, toughest uh, problems, we need to have quality research coming from the regions that the problems are coming from. So every region is going to be different. Everyone is facing new challenges and universities play a key role in solving these problems. So that's why we also need to promote that more research is done, that more funding is available for universities to do research. And as you know, in the last few years, this has been a challenge all over Latin America, where a lot of universities keep getting cuts for funding. And our ranking is trying to show that, um, you know, to governments and, and, and other agencies that universities play a key role and they are already producing important research for their communities. And this is a way of showing that data through our rankings and through our classifications. That it's a very well point uh, about the research because uh, nowadays we heard about that we have to do a research which is applied to something, but we also have to have a research being done in every every part of the, the study. Um, and also we can see the research and the education, the other actions of the university. And we are also very interested to know about the TAT Global Impact Initiative. We know that since 2010, the TAT launched that initiative at the University of Villa Velha was one of the inaugural uh, participants. <laughs> and to the best of our knowledge, the Times Higher Education, it's the only global performance that access the universities against those SDGs. And we'd, we would like to also hear about a little bit about that uh, initiative. Correct. So since 2000, uh, two years ago, since 2018, we launched the pilot of our THE SDG impact rankings. And this ranking was designed to shine light on other university, other universities activities. Rather than just research, the, the activities where the university has an impact with its, with its society, with its stakeholders and how it's working towards the achievement of the 17 SDGs uh, selected by the UN. So uh, we have used the framework of the UN's uh, 17 SDGs. We have come with metrics directly related to those SDGs. And therefore, we can start measuring how each university is working toward the achievement of each of these 17 SDGs. And we have been pleasantly surprised, and I was actually sure when this ranking was launched that Latin America would be a major player in this ranking because we have so many universities doing so many activities that impact their society, their nation. 
<clears throat> in so many different ways that this ranking actually allows them to have that visibility, not only focus on research, but also on the real impact that it's having uh, to its society. So uh, this has been very, very important. The ranking has been extremely successful. It, it has caught a lot of attentions. And now I can proudly say that some of the top universities in the ranking are from Latin America. As you know, maybe not always in the research focus rankings, we see Latin American universities in the top 100, top 150. But in this ranking, we actually get universities uh, in the top 10, in the top 20 of each of the SDGs. So um, it allows us to see clearly how impactful our uh, universities uh, in these activities that are important to society. And to be honest, this has been something that has been demanded by universities in Latin America, because they have always said, you know, it's not it's not fair that uh, you compare us to the world in the same way when we don't have the same volumes of research or, or the same, um, you know, um, amount of, of resources. So the SDG impact ranking, it allows us to measure all those other activities that we were not able to measure before. And I think that's very important. We have also uh, noticed that students, when they select a university uh, where they want to attend, they, they don't only focus on, on reputation of the university or, or the ranking, they also want to go to an institution that is creating change, that is having an impact in the world. And this ranking actually allows them to have that visibility on which universities are really working to change the world. So it, it's a great classification and we hope to see uh, your university in our, in our, next, uh, in our next ranking uh, for impact. Please allow me the last questions for today. Sure. How you would communicate to students that the importance to study in a university, which is listed in the Times Higher Education Ranking. You just mentioned that a little bit now, but could you please uh, make uh, another explanation for us how the, the youngest they would understand it's the important to the importance to be in that ranking? Right, so I always like to um, share with students that, well, first of all, as I mentioned before, we are considered the gold standard. And why we are considered the gold standard? Because Times Higher Education, the ranking is, itself goes through an external audit process where we try to make the data as transparent as possible. That is very important. The fact that your university is ranked in a, in a ranking that has complete transparency in the way they, they utilize the data is very, very important. But aside from that very important and relevant uh, point, um, you know, there are over 3,000 universities um, in, in, that we could consider we could rank in Latin America. And your university is one of the top 166 universities. That means you are in the top 1% of the, of the, of the region's uh, universities, which is very, very valuable to understand. You are already part of a very specific and elite group of universities that are doing quality research, that are linking uh, your institution with the world and created good research with other academics from across the globe. You have quality uh, teaching, which is very important. You have good professors, you have good resources for those professors. And more importantly, uh, you're creating research that is having an impact across the globe because uh, our ranking focuses on, on measuring the research that is actually valuable for the world, that other academics were going to use because it's impactful, because it's useful. It's not about only uh, research production and that's it. It's about quality research production. So uh, our ranking allows you to see that also. And finally, you know, linkage with industry, you know, you, Students want to be able to, you know, be uh, have an employment after graduation, have strong links with industry, and that's why we're also measuring uh, how universities uh, uh, relate with the industry and work together with industry, which is essential, I think, especially during these difficult times. So um, I would say that please understand, you know, when you consider a ranking and, and your university is in one of the rankings, look at what 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 the ranking is measured measuring and also look at how the ranking works, how it's handled they, their data, because that's what's valuable about Times Higher Education. We have very strict measures for data measurement. We have, um, you know, good controls for uh, for data um, 
uh, submission process. And you can trust the results that we are providing. We have complete transparency and we can show universities why they are performing the way they are. And that's actually very important because uh, sometimes we, we feel like in Latin America, there is very little trust in the rankings because um, they, 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 they don't know the agencies that are producing the rankings and they don't understand how they work. So it is very important to understand why Times Higher Education is considered the gold standard in rankings and also to really appreciate the fact that your university is already a part of this classification. And hopefully we will see universities like UVB in the next years, you know, improving their performance uh, across this, this classification and also in the in the social impact ranking that I mentioned before, because these are two very relevant um, classifications for, for Latin America, I believe. We'd like to uh, say that uh, the University of Villavella is uh, very proud to, to take a part in the Times Higher Education. And one thing that really impressed us was one day that we were just in the daily working, collecting data, and we just received a call from your office, and we were we felt so important and also, wow, that is really a gold standard uh, ranking. Could you please also talk for us about that? Yes, so uh, <clears throat> our ranking works uh, differently from other rankings. So uh, to be able to be ranked at the Times Higher Education, universities directly need to submit data to us in, in a specific periods of the year to be able to be considered uh, in our ranking. And we know this takes um, a lot of time and resources from the universities. Uh, therefore, we make sure that we provide uh, support for each of the universities that want to participate with us. Uh, that's why we have a global team where um, our data team is able to speak many different languages and are able to communicate with each of, which of the universities that want to participate and contact them directly, have personal conversations, address the questions, the specific questions that your university has why why do we do this because we know the importance of teamwork when it comes to working with a ranking uh, you know it, we we receive data from over 2000 universities across the entire world and we are only able to rank about uh, 1400 universities maybe this year over 1500 universities so uh, it is a huge amount of effort to get this data in, to get it in time, to get it in the way we require the data. So that, that's why we believe that, you know, this is, a, this is based on teamwork and we try to provide all of the support, uh, the personalized support for each university. And I'm glad to receive your feedback that your university received this support because um, sometimes I don't even realize the impact that our team has uh, supporting universities. And I'm glad to see the real impact here with, with your universities. And, and, you know, at any time, if any university wants to participate, they will be helped by our support team. Thank you very much, Mrs. Sanchez. It's a very uh, good to talk about the one who deeply knows about that gold standard. We are very proud to be in that ranking, that most comprehensive and balanced uh, ranking in the world that it's the, that it's the true and thank thank you once, once more for all the advices and it was a big honor having talked to you today and we hope we keep in touch thank you very much for your time today and have a great day thank you <laughs>